Hey, what is up everyone? Danny and Alex. In this tutorial, let's talk about the point system for beginners in Jiu-Jitsu. So check it out. Okay, when we talk about Jiu-Jitsu, there's going to be three aspects, right? The first aspect is always the self-defense. Someone punches you on the street, someone grabs you by the throat, maybe from behind they're holding you over the arms, and you need to know how to escape from that. That's the self-defense, even against weapons such as a stick or knife. Now, the Valley Tudo is the second aspect. So the second aspect is going to be more of an agreed fight. Maybe you're on the street, there's a street fight. Now, headbutts, everything goes, right? So headbutts, striking on the asphalt, everything is... There's no rules, right? So that way there you need to know how to fight and also defend yourself from there. The self-defense is you just against an aggressor escaping the position safely. Now the Valley Tour is going to be the real agreed fight where there's a real fisticuff and anything goes, right? So that way there you have to be in, in understanding that there's going to be headbutt strikes, even biting for example. So you got to be aware of that stuff. And then lastly, there's the sport jiu-jitsu or tournament jiu-jitsu. This is what we're going to talk about today. So sport jiu-jitsu basically, it's if there's a round and I end up at the end, there's no submissions or the knockout of jiu-jitsu, then we have to take in consideration the point system to see who wins the match. Now, if you're a white belt, your rounds are going to be five minutes. If you're a blue belt, your rounds are going to be six minutes. If you're a purple belt, seven minutes. Brown belt, eight minutes. And as a black belt, your rounds are going to be 10 minutes. Now, let's talk about the first way to make points. The first way is always the takedown because all of the fights are going to start on the feet. So, for example, if I took Alex down, let's say I shot in here, boom, and I took him down to the ground, now I would receive two points for the takedown, right? Now, it's important to understand that if I were to take him down, for example, and I didn't end up in a controlling position. So, for example, maybe I just took him down sideways and I don't end up on top. So, here, and we just end up like this, right? This is not going to be considered a takedown. Why? Because I didn't end up in a controlling or dominant position. I ended up lying down on my side beside him, okay? Now, another way to make points is going to be the mount. Right, so if I were sitting on top here with my knees on the ground, this will receive four points, right? Four points is the mount. Now, if Alex was onto his side like this and one knee is up, this is not the mount position. Also, if he traps my foot, my leg is trapped in the half guard, that is not the mount position, right? So I have to have my knees on top of him. So if I were to take him down this time and I end up on top, right? So for example, if we were here, and now I have a seat, I sweep him here, my takedown is done, but also I end up on top. Now I'll get my two points for the takedown as well as four, so that's six points, right? If I'm in front of him and his legs are as such, this is considered the guard, right? Or maybe even the close guard position here. I need to pass his guard, so this is the guard. If I open his legs here, and no matter how I use my guard passing techniques, for example, I was able to get over one of his legs, control him, and then pass my legs over and end up in the side control past his hips. This is going to be considered the guard passing. You've passed his legs. This will give you three points, right? If I took him down and I end up in side control, you're not going to get your guard pass here. So if I took him down and I just end up on top here after the takedown, I'm going to get my takedown points because I end up in a dominant position, but I'm not going to get two plus three because I didn't pass the guard. I didn't work to pass his legs. That's important to understand. Now, same thing here. If I end up being able to put my shin across his stomach, this is referred to as the knee on belly position, I'll get two points. But it's important that my leg is off the mat. So if you end up here in the knee on belly with your knee on the mat, you don't get your points. If Alex was to turn to his stomach and you got this position here, this is called the back mount, right? You'll get four points. The same thing is if I have the back control from here with two hooks, look, two feet go around his, his laps. And look, from here, if I can control the position, either as such or here, now this is called the back control and you're going to get four points again. All right, but it's important that you have your hooks in. If my leg is off his lap, there's no points, okay? So all of these positions in jiu-jitsu will rack up. If we look at the context where if Alex, for example, took me down with a double leg into the guard, so he takes me down, 
boom, there's two points, right? Now he passes the guard, boom, there's another three points, right? He gets the neon belly, that's another two. He gets the mount, four points. I turn and maybe he takes the back control from here. Another four points. All right, one more thing to consider is the submission, right? Winning by submission. That's the knockout of Jiu Jitsu. So basically, you might be behind on points. All right, maybe my opponent has 10 points. Maybe I only have six points, but there's 20 seconds on the clock, and I'm able to secure a submission, for example, here, forcing my opponent to tap. Now you'll win the match. All right, guys, so there you have it. A basic video just to show you guys that people are studying out in jiu-jitsu, how the point system works. If you understand, if you want to get into competitions, you want to understand how exactly this works so that way there you know exactly what's going on, even as a parent or a spectator, to see how your kids are doing and now encouraging them to gain those positions which will win the matches in jiu-jitsu. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Leave us a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, and we will see you in the next video. Take care.